How'd you like working with the Powers of Pain? Oh, loved them. Loved them as guys and uh, friends. We see them quite often uh, at signings, and they're always pleasant. Uh, real good professionals. Good family men, so we like that. Well, uh, when you actually, uh, who were you traveling with? Uh, with that, you weren't traveling with Fuji anymore once you turned babyface. Was it just you and Barry? Uh, so once in a while, Tito would go with us. Uh, before that, Ron Bass would travel with us. Um, but generally, it was by ourselves. You know, it was simpler just to get the car and, and make the arrangements for the hotel. We had a little routine. Uh, the office would make the plane reservations. Uh, Barry and I would switch off on making the hotel reservations and, and rental car reservations because you had to do it. You know, you got a, a month's worth of tickets. So you got to have everything all set up. But when Fuji was with us, we would split it up three ways. Generally, he took care of the, the food reservations and I always was Chinese food. <laughs> So we had to like Chinese restaurants. <laughs> How did you like working with Tully and Arn? Oh, it was good. It was good. Like I said earlier, you know, you got Tully and Arn, you got the, the killer bees, you got the bulldogs, you got uh, the hearts, powers of pain, legion of doom. Uh, I'm probably the rockers. Uh, Rougeos. The Rougeos, uh, Herc, Herc and, uh, what was his partner? Uh, Paul Roma. Power, yeah, Paul Roma. My God, you got it. Yeah. Plethora. Yeah. I like to use that word. I just pulled it out of the air there. Plethora of <laughs> opponents to go with. And you couldn't have a bad night. You really couldn't. Every night was a night off. Uh, it was fun. We, we were lucky because we, they always say that it's not a job if you really enjoy going, clocking in, and enjoy what you're doing, and clocking out. And we did. How far in advance do they give you a heads up that you're going to lose the tag belts to, to Tully and Arm? You guys were tag champs for uh, there again. Over a year. I, I would say maybe a month out. Hmm. You know, because you're already working with them, and. Uh, there again, you got your interviews that you got to to run probably three weeks, probably three weeks to four weeks out. But sometimes that would change too. You know, they'd they'd have a change in the, their plans, and you you know you go into the the idea that you're going to drop the belt or win the belt, and then that may change. Stuff happens, so. Yeah. Talked to you about working with Andre and Haku. What a team. Well, yeah, there's another team that I forgot about. Uh, Haku was fantastic. He looked like he was killing him, but he wasn't. And of course, Andre uh, and I had a relationship over years and years. Uh, I met him the first time in uh, the Carolinas when I was working there as a mass superstar. And we got along from day one. And then after that, most of the time when he would come in, you know, that was a time when he was traveling all over, just not in New York. He was traveling to every territory. And probably 90% of the time that when he came in, he asked to work with me. So that was an honor. And um, yeah, he was a good family friend. When he was filming the Princess Bride, when he had uh, nights off, he would call, I would be in Japan and we couldn't converse. So he'd call my wife and they'd chat back and forth and he'd want to know what was going on. And of course she wanted to know what was going on with the filming. Um, yeah, we had a good relationship, long-standing relationship. And it was sad to, to see him deteriorate. Uh, but I think he had a premonition that he wasn't going to live very long. And, uh, he was just going to make the most of it. And it was sad because he, he did die young. I think what was his forties, right? Yeah. And, um, we worked with him in Japan, one of his final matches. Of course, we didn't know it was going to be, uh, that close. And, uh, it was real sad to hear 
he, he did get to go back to France, visit his family. And then I think he passed away there in Paris. Mm 